everyone, Ojama Yellow here, bringing you another edition of Casual Corner. So for all the Casual Corner newcomers, what we do here is basically build decks that have two criteria. So one, the total price of the deck, main and extra combined, does not exceed $120. And second, each individual card must not exceed $15. So with that said, let me introduce to you my deck that I made to enjoy! Take a look at beautiful Cardians! So, when I started watching Arc 5, it was halfway into the show, and Ojama Red told me about the existence of Cardians, and I thought they were a joke, they were trolly, but I didn't know that, you know, if I would actually like them as an archetype. And then I got to the episode when Yuya meets Enjoy Chojiro, and then he started playing these cards, and I really liked them. So I was thinking, okay, if they ever make it as an archetype, I will build it as a deck. And lo and behold, here is my beautiful Cardian deck. <laughs> I've been playing it ever since Dragons of Legend 3, so I'm excited to go over this build with you. Obviously, there are different ways that you can play Cardians, but this one is roughly half- It's roughly two-thirds monsters and one-third spells. So without further ado, let me show you the monsters first, and then I'll show you the spell breakdown and then the extra deck. So from what I from how I line them up are here are the cards that you get from Dragons of Legend 3. These are the first cardians. So you have Flower Cardian Pine, and then it's upgrade Pine with Crane, and then you have Flower Cardian Willow, Willow with Calligrapher, you have Zebra Grass, Zebra Grass with Moon, and Polonia. You'll notice that I didn't put the upgrade for Polonia, which is Polonia with Phoenix. And the thing is, I actually wanted to cut out Pine with Crane and Zebra Grass with Moon as well, because their common on summon effect, along with Will with Calligrapher, is on summon effect, draw one card, reveal it, and if it's a Cardian, then you can special summon it. However, I was trying to make space for some other cards, mainly Cherry Blossom with Curtain here, and so I was thinking this would be much more important than Polonia with Phoenix. And the reason why I didn't cut out Pine with Crane is because it's a level 1, I can search for it with Rhoda, so it has some viability. And also because you can special summon Willow, Zebragrass, and Polonia as long as there's a, their respective level minus 1 on the field. So you'd want to have Pine with Crane or Pine on the field anyway. And Zebragrass with Moon is another level 8, and I would use it to go into a rank 8 in my extra deck. So it comes in handy. And naturally, I what I did was I maxed out Pine and I maxed out Willow and I played 2 Zebragrass and 2 Polonia. The reason why I maxed out Pine is because it's the only Cardian that you can normal summon. And you need a Cardian on the field in order to swarm with the other ones and special summon the others. So having Pine, especially with its on summon effect, of drawing a card and if it's a cardian you can add it to hand is really vital. And also I maxed out on Willow because it's upgrade Willow with Calligrapher is a tuner and you want to be able to have that tuner on the field as fast as possible. One of Willow's summoning conditions is actually it is the summoning condition effect for it. You must be able to tribute Willow in order to get into Willow with Calligrapher. There are other ways to bring out Willow with Calligrapher, and those are cards that we have in the spell breakdown. But that's why I maxed out Willow, just so it would be easier to get into your tuner as fast as possible. And of course, with Invasion Vengeance, they introduced some more Cardians. So, please welcome Peony with Butterfly, Clover with Boar, and Maple with Deer. Maple with Deer is actually Valerifon, which I find really cute. So, from that set, we got Peony with Butterfly, which is also Tuner, and that's why I maxed it out at 3. Clover and Boar and Maple with Deer are at 2, because I want to see the Tuner more. That's why I maxed out these three, really. So you max out uh, the one that you can normal summon, and you max out the Tuners. These are 2, these are 2, but their effects are really good, because Clover with Boar has the potential to pop a monster if you draw one card and reveal that the drawn card is a Cardian. And with Maple with Deer, if you draw a card and it's a Cardian, then you can pop one Spell Trap. So it, they come in handy, but naturally you would want the Tuner in order to get into your extra deck. Otherwise they'd all be sitting ducks. So 
The good thing about these cards is because unlike the Dragons of Legends cards where you needed the first forms in order to bring out the upgrades, say in order to bring out Zebragrass and Moon, you need to tribute Zebragrass. You can't tribute any other card in Monster. For Peony with Butterfly, Maple with Deer, and Clover with Boar, you can tribute any one Cardian in order to bring them out. Generic summoning conditions, yes, A+, plus. we want that. And the reason why I have 3 Cherry Blossom with Curtain here from Ray is because it can actually special summon itself, which is even better. So it must first be special summoned by revealing it in hand, you draw one card, and if it's a Cardian, then you can special summon Cherry Blossom with Curtain. Otherwise, you send this and the card to the graveyard. It's not it's not bad if it goes to the graveyard, especially if you say you show that it's a recardination. But that's not what Cherry Blossom is all about. It's additional effect. The second effect is even better because it's actually a hand trap that gives 1000 attack boost to a Cardian during the damage step. So imagine you have the extra deck monster Flower Cardian Borderfly, which I'll show over here. Borderfly is only 2000 attack, so it seems like, you know, you could run it over easily. Here you go. When in reality, it could be all of a sudden 3000 attack. So all of a sudden your opponent is going to have a hard time running that over. And that effect lasts until the end of turn. You really want to see Cherry Blossom with Curtain in your hand. You want to have one in your hand and possibly one a special summon if you're one short of a Cardian. So I think that concludes my monster lineup. And now let me set up the spells and show you the rest of the deck. <laughs> Stay tuned! Here is the spell breakdown and there are 15 spells here. Let me just count just to make sure. <laughs> so that's 6, yeah 9... Yeah that looks about right. Anyway, so as you can see here, I maxed out Flower Gathering and I play two of each other Cardian spell, Flower Stacking, Recardination, and Chokoikoi because I want to make sure that I see Hana Oese first thing in my hand. Hana Oese is really good because you special summon fl uh, four Flower Cardian monsters with 100 attack and different names from your deck. So that means you're able to swarm easily. You don't get Pine's effect, but it doesn't matter because with one card, you already have four Cardians. And in your opening hand, you're likely to have more Cardians that you can ladder into or upgrade in order to and with their draw effects, you're likely to get the tuners that you need in order to make an extra deck monster. So, Flower Gathering is really good opening. You just have to remember that you can only special summon Flower Cardians for the rest of the turn after you use it. So Flower Stacking is handy because you can choose any three Cardians from your deck and put them on the top of your deck. And it plays really well with Choi Koi Koi because Choi Koi Koi lets you activate three card the top three cards of your deck special summon as many cardians from there as possible and if they're not cardians then you banish those cards face down and you lose a thousand life points for each which is pretty risky and I can see why you know some people would probably play one but or some people would play three of course because they want to swarm as fast as possible but I'm thinking in my case Hana Awase would be much more useful and I'd rather see that than Chokoi Koi because Chokoi Koi can also only be used once per turn. For Recardination, I play two because it's literally a monster reincarnation. You target one Flower Cardian monster in your graveyard, add it to your hand, then you can special summon one Cardian monster from your hand, ignoring summoning conditions. Same way as Chokoi Koi. And that comes in handy, especially because, like I showed you, the older Cardians that are upgrades require their original forms in order to ladder. This is an alternate way to get into them. It's an alternate way to get into Willow with Calligrapher. So that just means it's more consistent for you to get into your tuner, which is handy. So because Cardians are all dark, I play through Lure of Darkness. And because they're all warriors, I play Rhoda. And I use Rhoda primarily for Pine or Pine with Crane, whichever one I'm missing from my hand. I also play one for one because you know, having one Cardian already kickstarts your combo. And even though you don't get Pine's effect off of a special summon, 
it still helps you special summon your other guardians and hopefully you can get into the tuner that you need in order to get into your extra deck. And I play Soul Charge. Soul Charge, I feel, is something that a lot of Synchro decks benefit from, and Cardian is not an exception. The Cardians generally say that they must first be special summoned by X or Y. And that means afterwards you can just use Soul Charge, bring it back. So what I generally do is a board of two different Car uh, Cardian Synchro Monsters. But I also have some generic Synchro Monsters in my extra deck, as you will see shortly when I set this up. As you can see here, I have the extra deck set up, and I have a full 15, and I have 12 Synchros and 3 Xyz. You'll notice that all of the Synchros that I play are even numbers, because with Chokoi Koi, the levels of all Cardians become 2 and their effects become negated, and with Peony with Butterfly, that and its other Synchro materials become level 2s, same with Willow with Calligrapher. Naturally, you can make other additions to the deck, you can tweak it by adding a glow-up bulb and by playing odd number Synchros, but in this case, I would prefer to play it safe and just play evens. So let's start with the Cardian Synchro Monsters. I played 2 Light Shower, 2 Bordafly, and 1 Goku, which is Light Flare. So I play 2 Ameshko because I like its protection effect. I like the fact that in standby it can burn your opponent for 1500, and it serves as a mild annoyance <laughs> to your opponent. It's something that they have to get rid of with Strike, and that means that you're safe to play other monsters if you want. It's a really good bait. And also the fact that all other Flower Cardians, including itself, can be targeted and can be destroyed by card effects. They can only be destroyed by battle is really handy. And if you have Cherry Blossom with Curtain in hand, it's even deadlier. And I play 2 Bordy Fly. Bordy Fly is highly useful because even though it's only at 2000 attack, the fact that it's an Abyss Dweller and a Necro Valley in one is really powerful. Naturally, Bordy Fly is special summon using Cardians. And Bordafly's effect is you banish one Cardian from your graveyard and you just shut down your opponent's graveyard until the end of your opponent's next turn. That's why it's so powerful even in turn 1. And you have the one Goko because he's admittedly hard to bring out, but it is highly rewarding, especially if you have Flower Gathering and Soul Charge in hand. If you have Light Flare on the field, then you're able to once per turn negate a spell or trap activation by your opponent. And if typically what you would want is a light flare and a light shower, or a light shower or border fly, or basically a combination of any of the three. You wouldn't want just the one Cardian Synchro Monster on the field, you want to have at least two different ones. So for the other extra deck monsters, I play one Herald of the Arc Light. Herald of the Arclight is handy because it can stop any one activation by tributing itself. So it also provides a much needed negation to Cardians because otherwise Mortify is a sitting duck. What if your opponent doesn't play any graveyard effects at all? And for Light Shower, it could be destroyed by battle after all. And what if your you know your opponent suddenly has a Trish? <laughs> so for old entity Hastor. I put him there pretty much as a troll and as a spot removal. So his effect is handy because if this card is sent from Monster Zone to Graveyard, target one face of monster your opponent controls, equip this card from your graveyard to that monster. And after that, that monster can attack and its effects are negated. If the card leaves the field, equip to an opponent's monster by this effect, take control of the monster which I absolutely love. And there's also HTS Saimoth, and I put him there for spot removal as well. It's basically non-target banish, and I find that handy when going up against, you know, some tricky monsters that you can't normally get rid of. And I have Crimson Blader here because Crimson Blader, if you know if you cleared your opponent's field and you, you're able to destroy an opponent's monster by battle with it, then your opponent can special summon 5 or higher, and the only way they can get out of it is just ranks. I also have Scarlight. Well, I guess that's a lot of spot removal right there. 
Via Scarlet just gets rid of anything with that special summon with less attack than it. And I have Leo just for protection. I have Beelzeus, which I still haven't been able to get into, but it is possible. I would normally choose Light Flare over Beelzeus, really. I would normally choose the Cardians over my generic Synchros, but these are here in case I am not restricted by Hana Oase and if I'm not restricted by any other means and there is a better, you know, they provide a better out than the Cardians do. I also have the three XZ monsters here, so I have number 38 because as you remember I play two zebra grass and I play one zebra grass with moon. So that is also handy turn one. And I also have number 35 Ravenous Tarantula. And the reason why is because I play two Maple Deer. So I use Ravenous Tarantula and I just ladder into Seven Sins. And Seven Sins has come in handy for me. So naturally this is a casual corner deck so you won't see Crystal Wing Synchro Dragon here or Bealzy. But feel free to add them in if you're trying out this deck for yourself. And another option could also be number 81, Dora. You can also put that in if you'd like. I was considering it, but I don't really have space at the moment. <laughs> but yeah, that is basically my Casual Corner Cardian deck. Please let me know what you think of this deck, if you have it yourself, uh, what you're trying out. You can basically change out the generic synchro monsters here with anything else that you prefer, so let me know what you suggest. And besides that, well, we would really appreciate it if you like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching, and stay tuned, the fun is just getting started.